In this video, I discuss about the overlay method for assessing impacts of a proposed project at given location. Earlier, I discussed ad hoc checklist matrix and network methods and their videos number are given here for your ready reference. Overlay method is based on mapping. Mapping involves the superimposition of several maps of environmental characteristics or themes like social, physical, ecological and aesthetic, uh, uh, aesthetic aspects prepared on the same scale to get a composite characterization of the environment of the project site. This method is widely used in environmental planning, especially for large area development projects like townships, industrial area, and for linear projects like roads, railway, and pipelines. This method is commonly used for comparing alternatives. For all alternatives, each and every parameters are considered and maps are prepared. By combining different maps of different parameters prepared in different colors and represented on the base map, the resultant composite map displaying special aspects and several components emerges. From the resultant composite map, specific or overlay impacts could be gathered and alternatives could be compared. Earlier transparent plastic sheets are used to map different environmental features like soil map, water map, slope map, flat plains, etc. in different colors. Now in place of conventional transparent sheets, the information can be used on a geographical information system, this GIS platform, and analyzed by using computer softwares with the help of skilled personnel. A GIS can be used to integrate maps prepared even on different scales and generate new maps by overlaying different types of maps showing different attributes or themes. For example, by overlaying maps of vegetation and soil, a new map on soil on, on land suitability can be generated and impacts of proposed project can be uh, studied. Now, I discuss very briefly on the technology of synthetic eco-environmental sensitivity for land use planning using GIS and factor overlay method. In order to quickly obtain calculated results using advanced GIS technology, descriptive levels of information needs to be converted into quantitative indexes and build index system. Four basic environmental sensitivity units like soil, water, atmosphere, and biodiversity con conditions have to be evaluated and a corresponding charts are prepared. Corresponding charts are prepared and grade index are given. So this is a, a quantity of every evaluated index are given against each. So this is the maps or charts of, of, of four basic environmental sensitivity and against each charts, this type of uh, indexes or the sensitivity index and the type of sensitivity is given. And this is one of the rank and accordingly color of the same uh, map is, is different. So in case of say uh, biodiversity sensitivity, so you can use uh, extremely can give a uh, deep green and uh, you know a high is light green accordingly. This different color may be applied for single map or single parameters. Now taking the advantage of space overlay function in advanced GIS technology, a comprehensive index of eco-environmental sensitivity has to be calculated from spatial charts 
and indexes of four single essential factors. Now, like every methods, this is uh, this method has also some advantages and disadvantages. The pros are it is very simple, easy to understand, user friendly, colorful display facilitates better understanding, applicable for suitable site selection for proposed activity, topographical representation like contours, water bodies can give better idea for identification of suitable sites to take off a project. And cons are only direct impacts are uh, addressed without considering the probability or duration of the impacts. Secondary impacts are not shown. Further, it does not differentiate between reversible and irreversible impacts. Ecosystem dynamics through time cannot be effectively described. So for further study, you can read these references. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video.